When it comes to creatures like wolves, many people will have a heartfelt fear of them. Because in our impression, wolves are fierce and cunning creatures. Ironically, wolves are now left to languish in the midst of being chased by hunters. And some lone wolves are even trapped in traps that cannot be broken free for a mouthful of water. A man in India accidentally found a coyote while playing by a lake, and peculiarly, the coyote's entire head was stuck in a large plastic water bottle and could not break free. The local temperature was hot, so the wolf probably wanted to stick its head in to drink water but got stuck. The poor guy failed to shake the plastic water bottle off after several struggles, and finally it gave up and let the plastic water bottle stuck firmly on its head. Because of this water bottle, it could not hunt, could not eat, and even breathing was very difficult. Perhaps it was because it could not eat for a long time that when the man saw it, its body was already thin and bony, and there were no other companions around it. It was estimated that it had been far away from the wolf pack for a long time because of this accident. If this wild wolf was left alone, it would lose its life sooner or later because of the lack of food intake. Usually we can see some little guys trapped in plastic buckets because of gluttony or playfulness, but as pet cats or dogs, they have the help of their masters and they don't have the pressure to survive, after all, they don't need to go out hunting for food by themselves. But this wild wolf is different. It lives in the wild where has the law of the jungle, and once it loses its hunting skills, it is like giving up on life. Moreover, Plastic is not a product of nature. Even if the wolf has numerous survival skills, it can hardly anticipate that a plastic bottle it has never seen before will bring it to its doom. It is no exaggeration to say that it will take decades or even nearly 200 years for nature to completely eliminate one gram of plastic buckets, plastic bags and glass bottles, which are made and discarded by human beings, and this process will also cause pollution to the land and water, besides, like this wolf, animals that have no sense of crisis about these plastics are likely to lose their lives by accidentally eating them. Especially sea turtles in the ocean are deeply affected by them. Although the wolf did not eat the plastic directly, the plastic bottle brought it a chronic death ordeal. The only fortunate thing was that the plastic bottle was not airtight. And the water vapor exhaled by the wolf condensed into a scarce water source inside the bottle, which made the wolf last for such a long time after being trapped by the plastic bucket. It was found by a young Indian man who came to do a survey. And looking at the wolf's body which was so thin that it could barely support itself, he hurriedly contacted the local forest police. But the wild wolf that saw the young man coming up and back quickly stumbled and dodged. The wild wolf understood that it now had no ability to confront at all, and it was afraid that these humans were coming to harm itself. Faced with this situation, he could only follow the lone wolf bitterly with his equipment and friends. On one side was the thin and feeble lone wolf, and on the other side was the panting rescuers, and they ran one after the other for a long time. They followed all the way from the forest, hiking through the grassland, from morning to afternoon. This following time took nearly four or five hours because of the erratic positioning of the rescue team. Finally, the men waited for the arrival of the forest police, who quickly caught the coyote and tied it up using a rescue kit. At first the skinny coyote trembled with fear, but it was so weak that it barely resisted. The police officers removed the plastic bottle from the wolf's head, and finally, after so many days, the wolf was finally free again because the local temperature was very high. The rescuers poured some water on it to lower its body temperature. After the rescuers released its hands, the coyote flew away. I hope it can slowly forget this painful period in the following days and enjoy its new life. The blue sky and white clouds are reflected on the clear lake, cows and sheep are drinking nearby, 
and beasts rushing on the grassland are issuing hisses. Such a beautiful picture should not only appear in the imagination. The world can only become a better place if we are more friendly to nature and animals.